Inside of Vladimir Putin's mind, his goals and thoughts during the Ukraine war. In igniting Europe's most serious battle since World War II, Vladimir Putin declared that Russia was at risk due to modern pro-Western Ukraine. Thousands of lives have been lost since then, cities like Maripol have been turned to ruins, and 13 million people have been displaced. He invaded Ukraine on February the 24th in 2022, promising the Russian people that he wished to demilitarize and denazify the country. His professed mission was to rescue victims of the Ukrainian government's eight years of bullying and genocide. The preservation of Ukraine's neutrality swiftly became a secondary goal. The necessity to liberate Ukraine from authoritarianism was highlighted by officers. The Russian president rejected that invasion or conflict had occurred. For years, Russian propaganda had pushed lies about Nazis and genocide in Ukraine. With so much destruction, Russian President Vladimir Putin's statement, it is not our goal to acquire Ukrainian territory. We do not wish to impose anything on anyone by force, for flat. What are Vladimir Putin's main priorities for the year 2022? His top aim is for Ukraine to acknowledge the transitional status of Crimea, which he hopes would lead to global recognition. If no legitimate Ukrainian government objected, Russians' rule over Crimea would be acknowledged globally. Second, President Putin wants Ukraine to become a dependable ally and part of Russia's sphere of influence. Third, he wants the West, particularly the United States, to acknowledge Russia's, or more precisely, Putin's special status in Eurasia. And he wants most, if not all, sanctions imposed on Russia to be repelled. Indeed, he has other objectives, such as those related to internal politics. These goals are unattainable through debates and waiting for political circumstances to change. Kiev would not recognize the new status of Crimea or the Donbass if Russia annexes them. No other countries will dare to intervene as a result of Ukraine's diplomatic efforts. Without the assistance of NATO allies, the Ukrainian military would be unable to withstand a large-scale Russian invasion. A federalized Ukraine might form the foundation for the next administration since it would allow Vladimir Putin to establish a dictatorship in Kiev while simultaneously appeasing Western Ukrainians and ethnic minorities. Russian troops would depart as soon as the new administration was established. The new Ukrainian government would acknowledge Crimea's sovereignty, sign all planned treaties with Russia and withdraw from NATO. Sanctions against Russia will be withdrawn. If this policy is carried out, President Putin will emerge victorious in the eyes of both foreign and local observers, providing him the legitimacy to rule Russia indefinitely. Putin's Russia will be less of a lone, sinking economy and more of a leader of a bloc of dependent states, making an even more appealing partner for China and other authoritarian and Western regimes. That's it for now, so if you like our videos, please subscribe to this channel for future updates. Thanks and have a great day.